Hey guys, Brandon with Nolatac for TFB TV. Here with Gabe from Roscoe. You might recognize us two together. We recently hosted an event for Roscoe, uh, the Barrel Gang event. Hopefully it'll be something you'll, you're seeing soon. We'll talk a little bit about the rifle that came out of that. But Gabe, run us through real quick kind of what you guys got new for this year, kind of what's on deck, man. All right, well, thank you, Brandon, for coming to our booth, and it's good seeing you again. Absolutely. Uh, so what we got coming out this year, um, we're adding a couple new SKUs on the 5.56 line for our Bloodline category, and this is our 12.5. This one actually came at the request of some folks that are looking to fill a niche between 10.5 and 14.5 for kind of a smaller patrol carry slash SBR rifle. Um, real, real quick, yes, explain the differences in the two lines just for those people who aren't familiar. Uh, that's actually a very good point. So we have our Bloodline, which is our duty grade 4150 chromoly vanadium steel barrel, melanided. We also have a proprietary bore polish, which those folks that are used to melanite barrels, they know that the inherent accuracy is not as good as it could be. Exactly. So we actually go in there and we, we do a form of lapping to make sure that you have a very smooth barrel. Uh, we have full autos with very high round counts on these, and they're still performing well. So these are our 416R Crucible Steel Precision Barrels. This one happens to be a 13.7 inch barrel. This is one of our new barrels for this year as well. And then to add to that category, we fixed the Valkyrie. <laughs> you know more than anybody or else. Or so you say. We yeah. Should. <laughs> you know more than anybody else has been a hot button topic, especially with us. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have some really good conversations with Federal last year. At this very same show, they gave us a lot of support, but when the round kind of started having issues, we had to do our own due diligence. We hired Don Edwards from Greenline Tactical. He's our product development guy. He's been doing a lot of research on this with Atlanta Arms, which was a, a sponsor for yeah. the Barrel Gang event. So a lot of stuff came out of that event. We learned a lot about our product, and so did everybody else. Um, and what we did was we went back to the drawing board with uh, Jason Kuhn from Atlanta Arms, and uh, Will Phoebus from uh, American Defense was there as well, you know, helping us out. And what we finally came out with is a 1 in 6.5 twist barrel. And this will accommodate the Atlanta, uh, Atlanta R77 grain that's about to come out and the 88 grain that Hornady is uh, pushing out, which seems to be very reliable stuff. So uh, that's what we have on the barrel category. We also have some 9mm barrels that will be coming out, an 8.5 inch and a 16 inch to add to the... All right, so we have the 9mm, which is kind of like a barrel, only a little smaller. It's kind of yeah. cute. It's like a small Maduro cigar, you know. <laughs> Um, so, you know, traditionally we've had since last year five and a half inch, seven and a half inch, and 14.5 for the nine mil category. We're adding eight and a half inch and 16 inch as well. And what we're doing, again, with help from American Defense, who's been a strong industry partner for us, Will Phoebus over there, um, we have added a hybrid ramp into our barrels, which, you know, we're all familiar with these uh, AR9 type of carbines, PCC carbines. Yep. They were originally Colt pattern mag friendly. The Glock mag was kind of introduced haphazardly. It was kind of forced into the service like right, that. Right, right. So no one's really looked at that, and the heart and soul of any of that is the barrel. So uh, with the help of those folks over there, we created this hybrid ramp, which are going to be introduced to all of our 9 mil barrels, the first ones being the 8.5 inch and 16 inch. And then uh, we obviously have our Bolton Care groups in 5.56 slash 300 Black. We're about to introduce 224 Valkyrie, 9 millimeter as well, and 308, which means AR-10 is around the corner. Yep. We have our gas blocks, adjustable, non-adjustable, our gas tubes, and working with American Defense again. This is something that I don't think I've ever seen them do, actually make an upper and rail with someone else's logo. We've been very blessed to work with these folks again. And um, we said, look, we want something that's matched to our barrel 110%. Folks are looking for the complete package. They still want your lower. What can we do? And they said, I got you, fam. They came out with a, a line of uppers for us and rails. We have uh, nine and a half inch, 13.5, and 15 inch. So stay tuned. We're going to put those on the website like Ricky take as soon as we get back home. A little shout out to that uh, cloud defensive oh, yeah. hotness. So good point. Uh, you good. Hey, good. You good, boy. I bet this is not you my first day yeah, <laughs> So Cloud Defense, uh, Sean McCulley and the guys over there, they came out with the owl. If that gives you any idea how bright this bitch is, it is bright, right? Um, so we're going to be carrying these on our website as well. If for more information on these, check out Cloud Defensive on their website and, and uh, social media spaces. And, you know, muzzle device, a lot of people have been asking us. Pro suppressors, we're working with them as well. Adam Peeney and those guys over there. But, you know, it's all part of a system, right? And it starts with a barrel. Um, 
And this is an example of what everything looks like together. You know, this is an American defense build, Night Fighter, that we did uh, when we took the uh, Don Edwards Night Fighter course. And, uh, you know, all of us together, including Null, Null Attack, what we're trying to do. That's God's light. took my day vision. That's God's light. What we're trying to do, you know, the partnerships that we've done and, and going back to that Barrel Gang event is just calling ourselves out uh, and, and doing gut checks to make sure that what we're coming out with is good. Uh, the, the show you put on down there, I can't speak well enough about it. Um, uh, it, it was seamless. It was autopilot. But what we walked away with, with actually this rifle right here, you know, this is what every shooter walked Which I am going to say, building this rifle and doing all this media shit and then not putting it out is kind of a... It's kind of a D move, bro. I'm just saying. Because yeah. <laughs> you know people have been asking, like, well, wait, I want that. And it's like, well, you can't actually have that. There's an eagle. You here. can have not this like that, but not that. I, I know who to ask about that. <laughs> I know a guy. Yeah, I know a guy. But actually, that's why we came out with the uppers, right? So folks have been pounding us, pounding us, pounding us. So we're going to have the barrel gang upper, and we're probably going to work out a, a very mutually beneficial promotion with American Defense, where if you buy one of our uppers, whenever we do the barrel gang builds, you're going to get some good discounts on, on that product. That is, I mean, the hotness right now. The only, you know, patented, fully ambidextrous little receiver that you're going to find out there. So, I mean, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you know, having having a unique opportunity to also host this Barrel Gang event. You know, obviously, Gabe and I know each other well from that. Um, and I've done consulting work for companies and things, ADM, in fact, in the past. Lots, um, of, lots of times, you know, when you do things like that, everyone's like, oh, yeah, we want to we wanna figure out what's wrong with it. But nobody wants to hear their baby's ugly. So... The one thing I can't say about you guys is we went out there, we did everything we needed to do, and not only did were you, were you guys receptive to the feedback we got from it, but you were actionable on the feedback we got from it. And I think that shows and just that open-mindedness of like, hey, no shit, man, what do we need to do to fix it? And not that anything was broke, but like little tweaks, and the, the event was fun. So, yeah, I mean, um, you can always squeeze more accuracy out of something. If uh, someone's telling you it's good enough, please be careful. Buy or be aware, whether it's us or anybody else, right? We have to earn the opportunity to earn your business, uh, and that's what it's all about. Plus, we want to build stuff that we would want to buy. No one wants to buy a Bobo product, right? Um, Will Phoebus himself, he's been testing a lot of our barrels because of our law enforcement contracts with, uh, with uh, a lot of folks through ADM, and he's been running the 14.5 mid-length uh, bloodline barrel yeah. that we run. He's been doing three-quarter-minute groups. He's been talking about it the whole show, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you're going to see a lot of stuff coming out through us, um, but when we release something, it's been vetted. We've worked with good folks that know their stuff, and uh, rest assured, you know, what you're going to find in that box is reliability and quality, and, and we thank you guys again for giving us that chance. Awesome, man. We're barrels, uppers, bulk hair groups, a little bit of lifestyle. Thanks, Gabe. Barrel gang. Oh, hold on. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. You want uh -oh. to talk about uh-oh, look at this dude. People coming out here with Ar Arcturics. Oh, bro, that's... I got hey, look, that's, that's a, that is a weird flex, but okay. Listen. That's... that's. Whether it be uppers, <laughs> downers, or Peruvian <laughs> flake, <laughs> it fits in this bag. Awesome, man. Y'all have a good show. We're closing it out for 2019. Y'all be good. Thank you. Barrel gang.